Hi there Commanders, Guardian E here with another reaction and recap video for Azure Lane, this time for the Japanese Winter Livestream 2023, where they are going to be revealing the final ultra rare ship and accompanying event for the year. Now, they've actually already revealed a couple of the ships in a preceding uh, Chinese live stream as well as on social media. That's the first time they've really done something like that before. I mean, at least this early anyway, they've already revealed Constellation, San Jacinto, and on social media recently they revealed Louisville in a couple of art posts. So. Definitely a different approach this time around, and I don't think any of those that were actually revealed are the UR ship. I think that will be revealed during the live stream. And they have also previewed that the upcoming skin batch is going to be themed around bunny girls and maids, so we are going to be expecting uh, more of that collection revealed during this live stream. So yeah, looking forward to it. It is really early for me right now at 6 a.m. Eastern. Could be worse, but definitely could be better too. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get into it. Uh, before we jump in, I will just briefly remind you that if you do enjoy this type of content, including Azure Lane videos, and would like to support the channel, please consider leaving a like, comment down below, subscribing to the channel for more. Really, really does help us out, and we really, really do appreciate it. Uh, and if not, thank you so, so much just for checking out the video, checking out the channel, and coming along with us for the ride. So let's get started. Oh, here we go, getting started. <laughs> what <laughs> what an opening. Enjoying some delicious tea, Mafia-san. <laughs> it's a very cozy introduction. Yay! <laughs> And here we are with the uh, the animated intro that we've been getting every time. <laughs> I like that nice little nice little cozy uh, cozy introduction under the Kotatsu. All right, <laughs> Mafia-san as the MC for the live stream, of course, extraordinaire, and Daimiwaki, of course, from YoStar. So it does seem like, based on the schedule, they are allotting two hours for the winter broadcast, and then afterwards there's going to be, I guess, just kind of like a, a year-end talk uh, with all the guests and everybody. So uh, I think that is, that's the plan. And gonbawa! So here are the introduction of all of our guests. Gonbawa! <laughs> okay. So getting uh, the the race queen Atigo uh, figure here from Alter. So I guess I guess one of the guests is not able to make it unfortunately for for some reason, and so Atigo is here in his uh, in his stead, um, so that his presence can be captured through Atigo. And they are of course talking about the Sea of Stars campaign that's currently live in the game right now. Princeton, Laffy, Anchorage, and Princeton Meta are all going to be EXP, or they currently are, EXP boosted ships, and they're going to be the ships that you can use during the actual main proper event uh, to clear some event missions for some additional event currency. And this is, of course, the little prelude story to the upcoming event that is currently live as well. Now, as mentioned, we already have three of the ships already announced at this point. As far as the ultra rare ship, there are a lot of candidates, and they've always been known to throw out red hair. So I'm not, I don't think there are any safe guesses. I think Laffy 2 is is a prime candidate. Uh, there's you know Missouri, Alaska, a lot of a lot of big names. I mean, most assuredly Eagle Union, but um, but yeah. Okay, so we've got the animation coming up now. Should be the reveal. That was Princeton, right? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's Laffy. So I I think I I think maybe wait who. She's like an idol. Who is... Oh, that's cute. That's very cute. Sea of Light Chasing Stars. Starting on the 21st. Okay. Oh, man, she's got like a... She's got like a huge mecha behind her. Look at that. Huge mecha and ships. It gives me like Gradius vibes. A little bit. A little Gundam. A little, a little of all of that. Like kind of futuristic ship uh, elements. I love the stars in her eyes too, that cheery smile, she looks great. 
I am really curious how they incorporate the mecha into her attacks, because recently with the Operation Siren uh, meta boss with uh, Kirov, Kirov meta, a lot of the attacks have incorporated, like, like various uh, different mecha and, like, augment ships and all these other things kind of coming into play. So I, I wonder if that's going to be an element to this, to this particular ultra-rare ship. All right, so they're providing a little context and introduction to the upcoming event. It is, of course, going to be an Eagle Union event. Yep, so here is the uh, introduction to the next event, starting again on the 21st and going all the way until January 4th. So pretty pretty standard fare, going to be a two-week event. Oh, 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 so this is her actual art. Okay, and her name is... And her name is Guam, is that right? So she's talking about being number one. I, I wonder, and she's an idol of... <laughs> she has idol uh, elements to her. So I wonder how she is going to uh, pair or what the interactions are going to be with San Diego. Um, I'm curious about that for sure. Uh, she definitely seems really bright. I love her high energy. Uh, the, the pose, really dynamic. It looks like the, her top is kind of flight suit inspired a little bit. I definitely think that's a nice influence. She's got the thighs out. She's full figured. I, I Overall, I dig the design. Yeah, I mean, she's cute, sprightly, got bodacious curves. I mean, I like what I'm seeing. I do. And I'm, I'm eager to learn more about her. And once again, this just goes to show you that predictions are pointless <laughs> for our ultra rare ships. I don't think anybody was guessing Guam. I, I don't think I ever saw anybody guess Guam. So, uh, yeah, it, it feels like a bit of a curveball, like they tend to be. Yeah, I like how eclectic and colorful she is. It's very, very nice. Oh! Wait, wait, what? Wait, what? We, we are getting Laffy too. Wait, so how... It's a WR banner? Is that what they're doing? I... Like, she's not a retro, is she? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I, the, we're, we're two ultra rare ships. Two ultra rare ships. Okay, all right. I'm I'm very very curious about this. Uh, but Lavi Two was teased like way 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 back, which is why she was such a front runner uh, for this particular uh, reveal and this particular event. I think Eagle Union event. They teased Lavi Two like was it during the anniversary? I think so. It was a good like almost half year uh, from today, and and so here here she is. Okay, two two URs. I'm. Again, I'm a little perplexed. I don't know if that means that they're going to each share the 1.2%, if they're going to combined have, you know, 2.4%, or how the pity is going to work, and uh, if, I mean, again, I usually they wouldn't introduce retrofits during this segment, so she, she should be a new ship, but maybe you can get her a different way. They do reveal ships during this uh, segment where you can grind for ships, like event shop and all that stuff. I feel like Lafayette 2 would be a, you know, a potential candidate for something like that, since she is one of the starters, of course. Um, so possibly having the ability to get her through uh, grinding, like, one of the side or mini events uh, alongside this event, maybe might be the, maybe that's the answer. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm kind of hoping that's the case. But yeah, Lafayette 2 looks super cute. I mean, the, the futuristic clean elements that, uh, that are kind of, that's kind of the motif for Eagle Union these days. The floppier, uh... Uh, actual bunny ears and the little usagi elements too okay so here is of course uh, one of the previously revealed ships constellation so she is going to be an ssr uh, sr on the en server so a gold ship basically um and yeah beautiful beautiful design yeah it definitely feels like some gentle fairy elements to her design really really beautiful and then next, of course, is San Jacinto as one of the elites. Of course, uh, she was revealed during the Chinese live stream uh, about a week ago, I guess, at this point. So, yeah, we did know about her. Uh, I, I love her design, too. Elite or not, that is a phenomenal design. I love her warm smile. She has a, looks like she has a promise ribbon, like, tied around her uh, her pinky that kind of extends to us, which is super cute, super cute. Uh, and, of course, the leotard design is exceptional. Oh, listen to that sweet voice. Okay, so this is Louisville, the next elite. We knew that she was coming also because um, they did tease some art on the, the English Twitter, actually, uh, of her and uh, had a little kind of mini Twitter campaign, but oh, good lord, she looks amazing. <laughs> she looks great. She looks great. I And they did tease, uh, as part of that whole, like, uh, Twitter retweet kind of campaign, uh, a, a bunny suit skin, a bunny girl skin, um, through the art. I don't know if that means that she's confirmed to have a bunny girl skin, but we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Uh, he's talking about the relationship between St. Louis and Louisville, the Lucky Lou... 
And next up, oh, <laughs> who is this? Flasher? Flasher is her name? I don't know. <laughs> it's just adorable. That, that's an adorable design. I like the hood and the big oversized sleeves. Uh, looks like she's sitting on a, a floaty type thing. And then she's got the big goggles too that are kind of blocking half of her face. She's got some tears in her eyes. So it looks like she is a little a little timid, but uh, but yeah, no, she's super cute. So she's gonna be uh, she is going to be an SSR. She's gonna be a gold ship. I do like that her little twin tails actually protrude from the top of the hood. I think, I think that's a cute design element. Okay, so we are getting the little gameplay preview now of the uh, of the different ships. So this is of course going to be Flasher, and there is Laffy too, of course. I like the little uh, beams of light. It's pretty neat. And then, oh, that barrage, really nice. Oh, there's the mech, okay. Some slash effects. There's constellation. Very nice. Oh, that's cool. I like that, I like that effect. Yeah, so double URs, double ultra rare ships. I'm, I'm still, I'm still kind of reeling from that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means for the banner. I, 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 I'm sure they're going to reveal it pretty soon, but um, but yeah, I don't think anybody was expecting that. Uh, it is kind of interesting because I feel like the player base was split a little bit in terms of what they were looking for here, whether it was uh, Laffy 2, because I think there was a contingent of people that wanted Laffy 2, there was a contingent of people that wanted a Type 2 ship, and then there was another contingent of people that did not want a Type 2 ship and did not want Laffy 2. So I feel, I feel like this kind of covers both brackets of folks, although I don't think, you know, I don't think anybody was expecting Guam, like I said, um, but it is, you know, a new ship versus a Type 2 ship, so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds, but only if, you know, I, I don't know how the how brutal the banner is going to be uh, with two ultra rare ships, or if they are even both on there, so okay, 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 so this does settle it, so the ultra rare is not going to be Laffy 2 on the actual banner itself, that's going. Those were going to be the rate up ships available. Um, this uh, flasher here is going to be available for free, uh, just by grinding through the event shop and getting her and acquiring her there. So she's guaranteed. So that that's nice. That means that we are going to be able to get Laffy to another way, uh, which uh, hopefully they'll get into a little bit. But I'm guessing at this point it's probably going to be like one of the side little mini events. All right, so Louisville will also be free. You'll be able to just grind for her as part of the uh, accumulation rewards, the cumulative rewards. Uh, to meet certain thresholds. Okay, so here is Laffy 2. So clear limited missions and get points, and then exchange the points that you have collected. Okay, so that is really the best way that they could have approached it for sure, in my opinion. I, I think that's great. So Laffy 2, everybody is going to be able to acquire her through an exchange uh, of, of just grinding the event or a side event uh, or completing certain missions during the time period allotted and be able to get her guarantee. So that is a free guaranteed UR for everybody. Um, and again, that's that's going to be Laffy 2. I, I honestly, I, I really like how they've handled that. So it is hype because we are getting double URs, but one of them you are going to be able to just get guaranteed. The other one will be on the banner proper. All right, good, good, good. I do like that. I do very much like that. Oh, look at the little gear box. Uh, the little gear skin box has the little Laffy Usagi uh, symbol, the little bunnies. Uh, here's the gear. Um, definitely like idol themed, idol slash like... Idol slash musical DJ and and then bunny themed all kind of mixed together. I like the vibe. I like the vibe. There's some kind of like neon uh, neon uh, icons there. And here we go. Okay, getting some getting demonstration of some of the gear skins. Very nice. That one's moving so fast I can barely see it. Is that the microphone? I think. <clears throat> oh, so those are the uh, Usagi ears. I think. There's the disco balls. I like those. Look at all the little lights coming off of them. That's cool. Okay, all right, very nice. Are those little, like, megaphones? And there are the little carrots. And there are the uh, boom boxes. So yeah, I, I, I like the style of this batch. They're all, it has kind of like this, this neon aesthetic to it, which is really cool. Then <laughs> there are the guitars. Yeah, I, I like the neon aesthetic to these. I think it's really neat. DJ Mixers. Do it again. Yeah, okay, yeah, you can see them. They're, they've got like little wings on the side of the DJ booth. And then there's the stage, okay. Dropping some uh, some disco balls. Very nice, very nice. Okay, okay, look at the dorm furniture, the limited dorm furniture, the Homeport Nightclub. 
uh, for this particular uh, event. I like, look at the actual wallpaper too on the side. Oh, look, it moves. That's really cool. Look at how dynamic it is. That, that's got to be like one of our, one of the most dynamic uh, wallpapers we've ever had, right? Where it actually, the uh, patterns move across like that. Look at the stage, the DJ booth. I like this a lot. It's got that nightclub lounge feel to it. The bartender to the side. Laffy sitting there, of course, at the bar. Oh, and this is going to be uh, one of those stages that you can put uh, multiple ship girls on at once, so you can get them all kind of dancing and grooving at the same time. I, I like those. Um, but yeah, Laffy 2, you are guaranteed free grinding. I, I think that's a great approach. I, I, I've always kind of felt like that's how they should approach uh, Laffy 2 and any future Type 2 starter as well. I, I, and I think that makes perfect sense. I think that's great. Oh! She said, good evening, everybody. Okay, so this is her debut introduction message. Very, very nice. Oh, I just realized it does say Guam on her little pelvic curtain there. Uh, I don't, can you even call that a curtain? It's like too small to be a curtain. A, a pelvic napkin is what that is. And I'm here for it. I love it. Uh, so yeah, here's an introduction to the voice actress, the Seiyu as well. So this is Kari and Kagami's uh, voice message to us. Oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, she taught. She was. She gave a little outro in English, and they even had a Japanese translation to the side. Ego Jozu. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, okay. oh my goodness me! Whoa, whoa! Well, did you see that preview? Okay, so so these are going to be the skins, uh, and as we anticipated, uh, definitely definitely of the bunny elements for some of them. It seems. I I do hope Guam gets a live 2D. Oh yes, Bunny Girl Guam. Oh my God, she looks phenomenal. That little outfit, the top hat, the ears, the garters, the uh, the thigh-high boots, it all comes together, and the, the bombastic speakers in the back, the spotlights, the array of uh, the light show and everything, it is live 2D, which is great. Uh, does she look more radiant than San Diego? So, so there is kind of this competition between Guam and Sandy, it seems like, uh, a little bit, but yeah, Guam look, oh my gosh, she looks so good, and this is a live 2D, which is a, a great choice, great choice. I really do feel like ultra rare ships on their debut deserve live 2Ds where possible, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see this in motion. I can't wait to see it. I wonder if she's going to have some dance moves. I'm sure there's going to be some singing involved. That is awesome. She looks amazing. All right, next up, we do have Laffy 2 as well, and Laffy 2 also getting a live 2D. Ultra Rare Ship, live 2D. I love it. I think that's great. I think that's a great choice. Uh, Laffy looks super cute. I, her hair looks very fluffy here, which is adorable. Uh, and then she does have the, uh, as opposed to the droopy bunny ears, she actually has the, the, the higher bunny ears. She's serving some drinks and desserts in the lounge. Very cute. Golly! Okay, here's Constellation as well. This is actually going to be a dynamic skin, which is great. We're getting a combination of live 2Ds and dynamics. Constellation looks so good. Looking down at us from the balcony, that view, that upward angle is fantastic. She's got some uh, some choice drinks on her serving tray there. Very, very top heavy. Gotta love the leggings. I, do, I gotta say that I really do love these Bunny Girl designs uh, a lot. All right, San Jacinto and Flasher here are getting a bunny girl and maid skin, respectively. Oh, Flasher is so scared, she's shivering. San Jacinto looks absolutely incredible, propped up against that rail. Oh, giving us a knowing smile, she knows what she's doing. Oh, look at this! Oh, all right, all right! Wow, 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 wow. Louisville also getting a dynamic bunny girl skin, and she is serving up some treats. She looks spectacular, absolutely spectacular. And we were, and we kind of... We're guessing that we were going to get a bunny girl skin for Louisville because of that uh, that social media tweet, right? So th this goes along with that, and the art is incredible. Oh man, I I'm glad that her design is so superlative. I'm glad just because she's an elite, that doesn't mean that she wouldn't get a skin. And here we get, wow, a live 2D as well? So Cleveland getting a live 2D bunny skin too. So this was actually uh, teased and revealed during the Chinese live stream uh, earlier this month. 
And so here we're getting kind of the full reveal here uh, with the, the actual real art without the fog and everything. But yeah, she's getting a live 2D. All right, so Cleave Bro and Joyers rejoice. Uh, she is getting a live 2D. She's got a little bit more of a lackadaisical look, a stylish jacket with that uh, pearlescent shiny lining, and then the uh, the stylish red leggings as well. <laughs> Mafia-san, sorry about this. This is uh, like a private dance area, it seems. Okay, so Houston 2 and Z35 getting a bunny girl and a maid skin respectively as well. Uh, Houston 2 is like covered in like a shag, uh, a shag blanket there. Looks like she might be uh, dripping some desserts or cakes. Actually, now that I'm giving it a closer look, I guess it's a hybrid of a bunny slash maid skin. Because it's got maid elements, but she also has bunny ears. So I, I don't know. I, don't, I guess it's both. I guess it's, I'm fine with both. Why not both? Uh, and then Z35 in a uh, more traditional maid outfit too. Very, very nice. I gotta say, I really, really love the bunny girl aesthetics that they're going with, with this batch. I think in previous rounds, it's been hit or miss. Sometimes they've really knocked it out of the park. Sometimes it's been a little bit more waffling. I think in this set, the whole like futuristic nightclub element to it really brings it home in a lot of ways. And of course, they're not skimping on. Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! What? So, so there's actually a, a second batch of skins that are going to be dropped later in the month. So that's. Oh yes, it is Kirsarge getting a live 2D, and she deserves it. My god, that high ponytail! Look at look at the hair kind of flowing down her back like that. Oh my god, the fishnets! The outfit is sublime. She's just kind of sauntering down that winding staircase. Again, the futuristic elements just really pop. There is the whole, like, light show aesthetic. Oh my good lord! <laughs> oh, god. oh, Hindenburg! Oh my god! So this was the silhouette that I originally thought was Taiho, um, because of the Ahoge at the at the top, but holy... Uh, what, is, what are you doing with that drink? What are you doing with that drink, Hindenburg? So she's got, uh, she's got a playing card nestled in there, and then she is, uh... It looks like she's marinating it in some, uh, some bubbly, some champagne as well. Yeah, pour, pour it all, pour it all. They are delivering with the year-end live 2Ds. All of the the live 2Ds where they need to be live 2Ds, they are hitting it. We've gotten way more live 2Ds in dynamic skins than static skins, and I think that's a great direction. Uh, I wouldn't expect that, like, you know, I think this is kind of a special, like, year-end, you know, you are everything, so that's part of it, but, uh... Okay, here's Felix Schultz getting a maid skin as well. Uh, what, what's she doing underneath the bar there? That, that's, uh, that's a little suspicious. It's a, it's a little, it's a little suspicious. I don't know what she's doing under there. Uh, but yeah, so Felix Schultz, uh, getting a skin, which is great. I, I, I'm happy to see all of the new PR ships get new skins, and that, uh, th that's, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be awesome. Uh, and we did see these two skins revealed during the Chinese livestream, so we've got Shimanto, as well as Flanders here. Uh, they are both dressed up in their maid uniforms. Very, very fetching. Uh, Shimanto's in particular speaking to me. Oh, look at the- oh, another live 2D! What? They, they've- uh, so many live- they've been working on these- they must have been working on these for, like, forever. Uh, this entire set. So this, uh, this maid skin batch is really- uh, maid and bunny girl skin batch is really delivery. So this is- this is going to be a maid skin. So it's actually not going to be the, like, French maid look, but rather, like, a Japanese maid look. Uh, this is Janice. Janice in- as a maid as well. Uh, and she looks like she's a little worse for wear on, on the cobblestones, unfortunately. Looks like she's taking a tumble. Honestly, I don't know if it's just me, but the skin feels a little ominous. I don't know. I mean, I, obviously, I want to reach out and help her, but like, it looks like she looks a little scared. It's night, and she's she's falling down outside. Wow, what an incredible batch of skins! Oh look, oh the preview. My good god, she's doing a like a full dance and everything. I love it. I love it. She's flip, uh, flipping the brim of the top hat, little pose, moving the microphone around. That's awesome. Oh, look, Laffy! She's gonna take a little nap. That's cute. Oh, and she does curl up on the couch, too. That's very appropriate. Just <laughs> wagging her finger. Very sweet. Oh, okay. Kirsarge. Oh, striking a pose? Very, very nice. Oh. Looks like she's a little embarrassed. I, 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 she looks, she looks so good. She looks so, oh my good lord. Let it drip. Nope, she's gonna take a sip instead. 
This really is kind of like a back lounge look, uh, like in the in the private rooms a little bit. Oh man! Oh, the tail whipping. That's great, and then the little uh, the little flower spinning in her hair too. Lots of little subtle movements and everything. Uh, lots of subtle little movements bringing them to life. Really, really great stuff. Guam's was so impressive with the amount of movement that was incorporated into the kind of like the uh, dance segment on stage. All right, so this is the first batch of skins that is going to drop starting on the 21st of December, uh, featuring three live 2Ds, two dynamic skins, and four static skins. So there will be rental tickets available to preview Guam, uh, Lafi 2, and Constellations skins, as you can see here. So batch two, featuring Kearsarge, Hindenburg, Shimanto, those are going to be starting on the 28th of December. So they are going to be splitting these two batches up, uh, across the two different weeks but yeah uh, so look forward to those and then these the, the uh, vouchers the rental vouchers will of course feature uh, these three here all right so here's a sample of some skins that are going to be dropping permanently into the skin shop and then japan is going to be getting a reprint sale of returning skins basically in the shop for a limited time i don't think we get this on the en server uh on the english server that's kind of our black friday basically so uh, i don't i don't think that uh I think this is something specifically for the Japanese server. But yeah, RIP my wallet. There's so many live 2Ds, so many dynamic skins and everything. Um, I'm certainly not complaining about the designs or the selection at all. Um, but it is kind of curious because I know that um, a number of people were kind of hoping slash expecting a Musashi skin. And that didn't really happen uh, unless they, you know, save that for uh, a little bit later. They have done things like that in the past. Um, yeah, here's just part two of the reprint sale on the Japanese server. Once again, I don't think we're going to be getting this on the EM server because uh, that was effectively our Black Friday, right? So there is a value pack, New Year Lucky Bag 2024 and Winter Swimsuit Lucky Bag reprint are going to be available for sale. So once again, I don't think we're going to be getting the reprint Lucky Bag, but we should get the uh, the New Year Lucky Bag 2024. And then naturally, of course, we are going to get Lucky Bags for the second set. So New Year Lucky Bag 2024 uh, for the second set. And then of course, uh, the Japanese server is going to also be getting a, a second reprint Lucky Bag set. Oh, look at this! It's a vampire Christmas skin uh, for free just by completing the seven day missions during this time period, and you will get a, uh, a new free skin for vampire to celebrate the holidays. Oh, okay, it does look like they're going to be rerunning the uh, little mini game where you can get this free skin for Birmingham, the free swimsuit skin, so starting on January 4th of next year that is going to be coming back. Uh, just as a reminder that the Azure Lane popularity poll is currently going on right now for 2023 and the event period is from December 7th all the way until February 5th but it is broken down into different different phases and, and everything like that and they are confirming although we pretty much already expected that they're going to create new original goods and content for the top three ships. Okay, and here is a little uh, teaser once again for the whole TB uh, training mini game that is going to be implemented. Uh, they have scheduled it, I think, for the first quarter of 2024. Uh, find the identity or the personality of the virtual girl. Here are some little screenshots and things. So it looks like you can kind of like raise her to be all kinds of different things. Okay, so they are just confirming that the Ulrich von Houten uh, event is going to be rerun as a light version, and that is going to be happening in the future. Oh, what is this? We plan to implement new modifications soon. That's very cryptic. I don't, I don't know what that means. This silhouette? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's like new equipment, like different types of equipment and augmentations. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so there's going to be a spring greeting campaign at some point in February. It's going to re be reprinting or rerunning a bunch of things. All right. Okay. I think I think that's it for the the game news. It was it was a, a big chunky bit. So uh, that's great. Uh, this is of course the social media retweet campaign that uh, is available for uh, residents of Japan to participate in and get some of the shikishi boards that are signed up there. Oh yeah, there, there it is. Okay, so there's the there's the one, of, of course, featuring the live 2D skin. Oh, the second one was not a shikishi board. It was actually a blanket. So this is actually a blanket. Uh, wow. I wonder, uh, this has got to be one of the loading screens upcoming, right? Like, you, you got to think it's one of the loading screens. All right, so latest information outside of the game. So this is going to be some, like, external collaborations with different groups, merchandise, things like that. Okay, so the Yostar official shop is going to be updating with some stuff. Very nice. Let's see some wall scrolls or posters. Oh, look at that. Okay. Busting out the, uh, is that a towel? I guess that might be a towel. Fe featuring, of course, Akagi and Kaga, the two on the side. And so these are based off of, I think, the Queen's Orders art. Um which is nice. 
The 6th Anniversary Art Collection is releasing on December 21st, so very, very soon. I think it is sold out in a number of places, but I think there are still vendors that have them available for pre-order, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, you can get your hands on this. Showing off some of the full designs here. Very nice. And then the skins, too. And, of course, we know loading screens are incorporated as well. Yeah, that's a big chonker of a book. i got a lot of great art in it. Look, 336 pages, it looks like. Oh, Bushy Road is going to be releasing Volume 3 Azure Lane in the Rebirth for You uh, collectible card game starting on December 15th, it looks like. They actually just released the Vice Schwartz Azure Lane set, uh, the English version, not that long ago. Huge success, huge success. It like sold out everywhere. And the art is just so, so amazing. The cards look absolutely beautiful. So people just snatched those up like right away. So uh, yeah, it's like sold out everywhere. Um, the Azure Lane Vice Schwartz said. A uh, rebirth for you, I haven't gotten like as much into. Okay, so this is the uh, the final entry of the fourth season of the official Azure Lane ASMR series. Uh, it's going to be featuring Shinano, of course. going to be releasing on the 16th, so this weekend. And you are going to be able to go on DL site and purchase this. It's going to be 20% off uh, for the first four weeks or so. Uh, it ends up being like under 10 US dollars for like 30 to 60 minutes of like audio, audio bliss basically uh, if you're an ASMR enjoyer it's definitely worth checking out this series because I think that they've been doing a great job with it so I'm definitely picking it up I'll definitely be pre-ordering it to grab it as well oh wait 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 already Guam is already getting an ASMR oh this is awesome ASMR drama Japanese audio version English audio version will uh, be released simultaneously soon so they're gonna I think this is one of the freebie ones that they drop, like, on YouTube, probably. Um, so everybody can enjoy it and just uh, just kind of put on the headphones and soak in it, I guess. Uh, so that's great. And they are confirming that a fifth season is going to be in production, which is fantastic. Definitely happy that they're continuing this and that they're seeing success with it. Because once again, I think they're doing a great job with it. And of course, this is the 1-7 scale Prince Eugen Race Queen skin figure by Apex. Uh, Pre-orders are currently open for this. She looks absolutely lovely. It's an alternate pose. This is the 1 4 scale Bremerton figure by Alpha Max that is based off of the anniversary Dakimakura art. Uh, from uh, earlier this year. So this is also available for pre-order. So one four scale, absolutely huge in more ways than one. Uh, yeah, she looks uh, she looks amazing. Formidable as a one seven scale in her swimsuit skin. This figure is uh, by Ami Ami. Royal Fortune's Halloween skin by Wing, one seven scale, also available for pre-order right now. And Wing is also releasing this one seven scale of Jean Bart in her kimono skin. Oh, oh they lost their guests. Where'd they go off to? Oh, oh, okay. Showcasing some of the figures here. <laughs> some of the prototypes. Very, very nice. <laughs> oh, you're just kind of like creeping back there. <laughs> you might be posting these on social media. I don't know. I seem very impressed overall, it seems. <laughs> and Jean Bart looking very graceful and elegant. Look at all the blades, the katana in the back as well. It's quite a spread. It's quite a smorgasbord, not gonna lie. Right, so this is the continuing collaboration with the Craft Beer uh, Brewery with the Yostar Shop. You can actually order these uh, on the uh, Yostar Shop as well, and they've like thematically paired. Um, specific craft beers with uh, the different ship girls, which is a really cool idea. Like, I think it's really neat, actually. They put, like, a lot of thought into how the uh, the beer itself synergizes with the ship girls' origins as well as their personality, so it's really cool. Uh, so Yorktown's is going to be an IPA, an Indian Pale Ale, and they're going over kind of, like, the thought process here in terms of picking this for her. Yeah, so honestly, I've always thought this is a really cool idea. I wish we could get it in the States, but I don't think we're really allowed to import uh, alcohol uh, through like a proxy service. I think that's one of the outlawed items. Not, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tried, but I, th I think there would be some some obstacles there, unfortunately. Here's the collaboration with Homi Onji and uh, as well as Daiko Royu. So this is the whole uh, Azure Lane's collab with Tatsuguchi Onsen. So the Onsen collaboration, the Kimono collaboration. Okay, so there was a Hakuryu panel, and, and here's a Taiho panel as well. That is, I wonder how big that is in the actual uh, onsen. Oh, I guess we're going to get a preview of how it looks. 
That was cool, a little time elapsed thing, okay. The Azure Lane Racing Collaboration Project number two, further information will be announced soon on this one. All right, Sea of Light Chasing Stars starting on the 21st of December and extending all the way until I think January 4th. Here are the new ships that are going to be available through the event. We're going through the recap now. So <laughs> uh, yeah, two URs this go around, but one of them, Lafayette 2, is going to be available for free. This is going to be the first set of skins available to purchase starting with the event launch itself. So nice selection here. And then part two is going to open up one week after the launch of the event. So that's this set of skins available here. So many Live 2D skins in general. I'm glad that they're getting really aggressive with the Live 2D developments. Uh, here is going to be some stuff in Akashi Shop that you can purchase for little boosts uh, and everything like that if you, if you really need it. And here is a little live stream commemoration viewer gift from Guam so a uh, nice little bonus here G getting a gold bullion some cubes some coins some oil skill books uh, cog chips always always appreciated very very nice so we should get that on all servers of course everybody gets those uh, little celebratory rewards so we are closing things out with this little animation which is very very nice is this new I think this part's new right I'm not all oh, Lafayette in Yorktown Musashi, New Jersey, Saratoga. Oh, Heinrich. <laughs> there they are, cooking. Uh huh. NT, and Yorktown. Incoming barrage. Oh! Oh, that's sick. Oh, look at that. Look at that animation. I don't, I don't think we've seen this before. Oh, look, implacable. Chucking some mines at Shimakaze. <laughs> and there's Musashi. Play that slice, just slicing straight through hordes of, uh... Yeah, I think this is new. I Well, re regardless, it's hype. It's a great, it's a hype animation to end things off on. Yay! So yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to the ships, the skins, the story reveals, learning more about these ships in general, um, I, the uh, the gear skins, the actual dorm furniture, everything. Uh, 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 they are continuing to tease the TB game mode, uh, expecting that early next year. But yeah, the event, I think it's going to be a great way to close out 2023. Uh, RIP my wallet, as far as the skin patch goes. So many live duties. It's going to be awesome, though. It's going to be awesome. Uh, definitely psyched for it. All right, so that is going to wrap things up. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're excited for the upcoming event, the ship reveals themselves. If uh, if you guessed Guam, if you uh, if you guessed that we were going to get two URs, let me know down below uh, what you're most looking forward to as far as the new event is concerned. What Which of the new ships is your favorite? Which of the new skins is your favorite? Uh, make sure to let me know. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave us a like, comment, subscribe to the channel for more Azure Lane content. We thank you all so much for watching, for taking time out of your day to spend with us. We really do appreciate it. And until next time, let's protect those waters.